Oh, I love the, uh, what is it, how it should have ended, where it's just like, <laughs> your move. Nah, I'm just kidding. Everybody shoot this fool. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. You know, um, Obi-Wan does, uh, uh, scold Anakin a lot, but he does have his moments of reckless, reckless, uh, recklessness too, which is kind of funny. I guess you can, uh, say that some of Anakin has rubbed off on him a little bit. This man jumped down into a whole battlefield full of droids and was like, Alright, let's do it anime style. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, obviously, this is the, the, how what happens when you write stuff out of order, but... <laughs> based off of his experiences in the Clone Wars, or at least what he heard from other Jedi, what made Obi-Wan think Grievous would fight fair? Yeah... Yeah. I mean, okay, fair point. Obi Wan had back had backup and hidden, but still. The yeah, the you don't really know how long they're gonna take to arrive. Like Grievous could have just sent all those droids at him at once, and I, I didn't. That doesn't sound like it's good. It would end end well, to be honest. What are you talking about? Jedi can deflect every single blaster shot. Just ask Hiati Mundi. Oh god. The thing with that as well, like, Hiati Mundi's death is that he had to deal with not, not only the clones, but the droids shooting at him on the other side too. Um, and that would... Having, like... Enemies shoot like shooting bullets at you from both sides is gonna that would screw like anyone over um, Given enough time Jedi or not really uh, What am I doing in her? Oh, I see I gotta like do this and then switch maybe Get on the platform, maybe your friend will lift you up. Oh! I didn't think about that. Yeah, there we go. I want those studs! You need a crap ton of studs for this. Either this forces you to revisit it, or you... Or this is a really long level. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we haven't actually played those, those, those two yet. <sighs> Those droids are so much smaller in the show. <laughs> okay. Make sure there's no sneaky hidden studs back here. God, can you imagine how annoying these games would be if there was an actual life system? trying to think about these alternate universes. Yeah. Because it's really easy to die in these games. 
Especially when you have like a bunch of enemies going at you at once. Pod racing would suck even more. Oh yeah. If anything, uh, these LEGO games were actually kind of ahead of the game when it comes to um, removing a life system thing and just making it so you just have infinite lives instead, which I think for most games should be the norm. Like some, I think some games work with it better than others, um, but most of the time it's kind of just a annoyance more than anything. What if RPGs had life systems? How would that how would that work? Uh, I don't know, I guess if you get all of your party members wiped out, <clears throat> you'll get an instant res resurrection where you were. If you run out of lives, I don't know, you loot, I don't know. You get sent back to your last auto save location. I don't know. Hmm. That's this is why RPGs don't have life systems. Yeah. Like even Pokemon just send you. Well, Pokemon such as the nearest Pokemon Center. If you lose all your Pokemon. Hmm. <clears throat> but you don't lose any actual progress. Yeah. I guess, I don't know, maybe modern Paper Mario games could work for life system because they're more level-based at this point. I suppose so. Um, Doom is a bit of a genre shift, but um, uh, Doom Eternal does it in a kind of an, kind of an interesting way where life pickups um, are done a little bit differently. Because, like, well, I mean, Doom 2016 didn't even have lives to begin with. Um, and the way Eternal does it makes it so the one-ups essentially make you make you live longer. Because um, you know, in mo in most games, when you when you when you die, it get you get sent back to a checkpoint. Um, that doesn't happen in Doom Eternal. If you ha as long as you have extra life saved up, uh, you'll basically immediately spawn back in. And you only like go back to a checkpoint after you use all those lives up. Um, so the actually very that's that is an instance where getting one ups is actually very beneficial compared to most games nowadays. Um, so I don't know. So it was a unique way to do it. I I didn't expect one ups to even be in that game. Did the old Doom games even have a life system? That I don't know. That would be more of a Joey question. I... My knowledge on... Um... Classic Doom is... Almost null and void. I remember playing... A bit of the multiplayer with Joey at one point, but that's about it. Uh, what would you say are some series that um, benefit from having a life system, or like series that are fine keeping with that tradition? I'm not sure. At this point, I'm not sure if any game necessarily benefits from it, but Crash Bandicoot could stay with it as if they're sticking to the old formula, and that's yeah. what they're doing. That, albeit with a modern mode to bypass that yeah i think i think that is uh uh i think that is the probably the best way to go about it um because there is something inher inherently satisfying about getting like one-ups in crash specifically um so i i would kind of be sad if they were gone um in like a mainline entry That that being that being said, I'm kind of I am I was kind of glad that lies weren't in Mind of a Mutant because gaming over in Crash of the Titans is really disheartening sometimes because 
those levels can go on for a while, um, every now and then. Now, normally I'd be, normally I'd say life, a life system should probably remain in beat em ups, but mm. I've stopped, I've sucked at enough just to <clears throat> remember that sometimes I'd rather just get back into the level immediately. Yeah, I actually tried playing uh, the original Streets of Rage a few weeks ago, and good lord, that like that game like drains your lives like no one's business. And if you, uh, lo yeah, and and like those old games tend to do, if you game like use up all your continues, so you're right back to the title screen, and oh, that feels bad. Yeah, like, I'm generally, fi yeah, generally fine with a life system. Continue system, no. That, yeah. Let that stay in the past where it belongs. Yeah, that is definitely, definitely should stay as like a relic of the old gaming era. Oh man, you know what we need to play? Pac-Man Arrangement. I've never heard of that. Namco made this 3D Pac-Man, it's a sequel for all intents and purposes, um, this 3D Pac-Man, 3D graphics, it still plays like the old ones, mm. um, this 3D Pac-Man maze game, like in the mid to late 90s, re-released it on Namco, through Namco Museum, and it's ported a few times since. Hmm. Okay. It's just a fun, bubbly game. They should have some music in Smash Brothers. <laughs> but they won't. Yeah. I'm not sure if we said this on camera, but I know I know we've discussed this before, um, but Namco really deserve a second rep at this point. I feel like it's long overdue. Please enjoy Wonder Momo from the Wonder Momo series. <laughs> yes, yeah, for a droid at you. <laughs> okay. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't even think this happened in the show. Yeah, I don't remember this. What, what the hell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the heck? Why does the clone's hair look gray? Don't know. I thought Obi Wan had done oh. the force healing of the clone. <laughs> How many studs do you need? Yeah, goodness. Like, this is ridiculous. Can, can Georgia fight in this game? I think he can, actually. Yeah, he, he actually has a, a punch combo. Woo! Finally. He probably won't use uh, Georgia for that, though, but... that The fact that... <laughs> oh, that's funny. The fact that he can attack is nice. There are so many characters in Complete Saga that were kind of useless in the sense that a lot of them just couldn't really defend themselves. The kid characters outside of Wicked. Yeah. Jar Jar. 
Chancellor Palpatine. I think if anyone else said, I think that's it. Mm. And well, I guess the Jawas. Oh right, yeah. Only really stun people. <clears throat> uh, did you mention the, uh, some of the droids or? Uh, yeah, protocol droids, obviously, outside of four LOM. Yeah. Um, there's two. Th <laughs> it's it's more the cat the gong droids are more for a joke, but yeah, those as well, I guess. Does anyone actually shoot the gong droids? I don't. I don't think so. The fact there's a, that there's a super gong uh, chi is pretty hilarious, though. I like that. Will we see Rebel Friend again in the Skywalker Saga? That is the question. Alright, you know we can just make him out of customization, but... Yeah. I, I want to see him again. Yeah. Has Padme used like the same blaster in all the movies? I think so? I'm not sure. Yeah, Jar Jar, let's go. Oh, another split screen thing. This, yeah, this is like one of the longest levels in the game so far. What, this is kind of crazy. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember, like, how long uh, LEGO Star Wars 2 was overall, but, um, I gotta say that this is probably quite a bit longer than the first one, at least, because, yeah, this is taking on quite a while. I don't, I remember most levels in LEGO Star Wars 1 not being too terribly long. Longest level, longest on foot level was probably. I don't know actually. Most of them didn't really overstay their welcome. <laughs> yeah. Nego <laughs> like negotiations was a really short level. Negotiations were short. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know, like maybe the third level when you're trying to escape Naboo. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Revenge of the Sith probably had the longest on foot levels. Probably. Like the Jedi Temple level, I think took a while. Yeah, that one took a while. Um, the Anakin ve uh, Anakin versus Obi Wan thing was that that was um that wasn't too long of a, of a level, uh, in the grand scheme. You, you're basically just playing out the uh, the whole. Uh, the whole, um, lightsaber tool. In that case, they probably club pretty closely match the actual length of, length of the duel. Yeah. <laughs> right, and it cuts stuff out because Yoda and Sidious aren't there. If there's one thing I want to see, um, in Skywalker Saga is some of the stuff they did, they haven't, um, uh, what is it? Ad adapted yet yeah, in Lego to be in Skywalker Saga. Um, Finally, we get to see the vote of no confidence. Honestly, <laughs> I'm surprised Chancellor Valorum has never made into a character. In yeah, games. that is true. <laughs> and again, I played these. G I well, not not this one. I I knew I saw a good chunk of Clone Wars before I played this game, but. Lego Star Wars 1 and 2, again, I <laughs> I didn't see any of the movies beforehand, so I didn't know who any of the... Well, I had a general understanding, but I had no idea what was going on half the time, and I for sure didn't know that there was a previous Chancellor. 
I saw Revenge of the Sith in like ten minutes of Attack of the Clones. Hmm. What am I doing in a? Trying to deal with these plants. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got the studs. Oh! I didn't know there was a blue one though. Dang it. Oh, you can cold cock? I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay. I have a feeling that you need 200,000 because this is kind of insane. Such riveting gameplay. Indeed. I don't think the droid's hiding in that bush. Can I not destroy all of them anyway, or? I guess you gotta wait till the droid's hiding. I don't know. I suppose. Smack. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> A little bit. Jar Jar is just living his best life in the corner. Hey, <laughs> look at him. He's, he's having a swell time. Me's are having fun. This is just abuse. <laughs> oh, okay. A wild droid has appeared. <laughs> right, the other one. Oh, okay. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna kill him in case he goes to the other one. Yeah, run in here so I can destroy it. Or not. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is just evil. Why would you do this? They did that on purpose. Huh. Going back to the lives thing briefly. If that 3D Mario, that Mario Remasters thing is true, um, do you think they should, um, abort lives entirely from that, or keep them just for legacy's sake? I'm guessing these are just very rudimentary ports, like... Probably. At that point, there's not much point in going, like... <clears throat> yeah, they can add a lifeless mode. Lifeless mode, that sounds so fun. Um, <laughs> they can add a life free. Okay, that sounds horrible. Um, <laughs> they can add a quote unquote modern mode. <laughs> I don't think they'd outright replace the original life system, though. Probably not. I'm ex like if these remasters actually exist, I'm expecting like the bare minimum of new features added. I feel like 64. I think it's gonna end up getting the most rehauled because N64 game. Uh, Sunshine, I think, would get like at most the Wind Waker treatment, and I expect like barely anything from Galaxy. I I don't. I I think Galaxy would probably be the one that would be changed the least. Of them, um, I I do ho I do hope there's, that there's at least some enhancements though, if if like anything, um, 
But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't really expect like Crash End Saint Trilogy or Spyro Ignited, because this is Nintendo we're talking about. But that would be like the best uh, outcome. Super Mario All Stars was the original End Saint Trilogy. Yeah, that is true. I would, I would like. Like a Super Mario All Stars for the three D ser for the three D games, but I think that's a lot less likely. Can we get Donkey Kong Country All Stars? Like just that'd be cool too. <laughs> What's up, frying pan? Yeah. <laughs> oh! This is giving me subspace emissary flashbacks. Oh my god. What the heck? Insert Yoshi noises here. And then he died the end. Yeah, how the... How the hell? We weren't even close. No, oh well. Yeah, they, I, I'd like to see a Donkey Kong Country All Stars. Just remake the original trilogy, add in the levels from the land games, and just bring them up to visual snuff. <clears throat> that would be nice. <laughs> I have hey, seen. Yeah. I have seen um, fan made uh, videos of like. DKC2 in HD and stuff like that. That it'd be really nice if that if any of that ended up becoming a real thing. But Why are you a Soka? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're only tw we're not even twenty nine percent done with this game. Yeah, I mean most of these games. Um, usually have it so, like, the story content is barely, like, even, isn't, it's, like, barely any part of the game, or whatever. Like, there's so much side content in this, it's ridiculous. Uh, did we want to stop here, or? Um, <clears throat> sure call. Hmm. Well, uh, what does our, uh, what, what do we have for RNG first off? Grievous. Grievous. Uh, I guess we, we can finish up Grievous and end it there. We have one less story to worry about next time. Hi. Welp. This was... Uh, this was another episode where Grievous was, uh, uh... Pretty threatening. Though I don't... I don't really get why he... Uh... Didn't like he keeps he could have just killed the Jedi. I don't know why he bothered to uh not. Plot armor. This yeah. guy's not supposed to die until episode three. Oh, fair enough. That definitely is just plot armor then. I remember what this episode, uh, he wanted a bargaining chip for something, I don't know. Yeah. I I've never been able to pronounce this guy's name. Eif Kof. Oh, I, I thought it was, oh, I mistook him for someone else. Oh. Thought it was, thought he was 
I confused his name with another Jedi. Yeah. Uh. Um. Yeah. Wait, what, what am I destroy? Am I just destroying the glass? Oh yeah. No. Ah! Okay. I see. Also, I mistook him for a different Jedi, possibly of another species, of the same species. Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, same species. He was the one who showed up in episode 3 who fought Sidious. Oh, okay, so... This character, this character really could have died in this, in this episode if they wanted to do that, I guess. It's the, 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 they, these two were separate characters, right? Yes. Okay. He was, <clears throat> he was on the council in episode, like, one and two. Okay. And then he left the Jedi Order to raise a family. Right. Then Vader killed him. <laughs> I do. I do wonder what happened to that one uh, clone that went off to uh, create his own family, and just um, get away from the war, basically. He went on a bender one night while he was tending to the crops. <laughs> Sure, I guess. I mean, I'm not supposed to cano canonically win this fight, so I mean, don't really know how this is gonna work. You're just gonna have fun over there. <laughs> there we go. Ah, okay. I do like these guard enemies, They're, they have a cool design. Everyone loves the Magna, Gu Magna Guards. Hmm. Ah. happened I I just uh, yeah Grievous just had one hit point left it's the um, narrator guy oh. Or the uh, intro dude, rather. <laughs> what the heck? We're getting a lot of split screen levels today. Uh, oh, eighty! I, I remember when you used to have an. Uh, I remember when you used to have a unique lightsaber color. 